Hello everybody, welcome to a special series of micro builds where we're going to be building a biodome. We're going to enlarge a biodome and we're going to kit it out and we're going to make it look like one of those sort of like biodomes that you see on abandoned planets and things like that where they're growing all of the trees and things like that and all the, the little plants and shrubs and stuff and it makes for a massive greenhouse as well. It looks really cool if you want to do a big greenhouse build or something like that. So what I've done is I've laid out a path from the landing pad over at the micro builds workshop and we're going to get cracking on and we're going to build ourselves a giant biodome there is a glitch involved don't worry i'm going to show you how to do it it's dead easy so what we need to do is we need to start off i've extended two out of these platforms like this to give us enough room and we're going to build ourselves a little circle so if we use these triangles like this and then cut in with a square and go back with the triangles on the side of the square we can actually overlay them like this and if we do that delete the square and then attach the last few triangles in here what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to use the flat surface of every single one of these triangles to add a square which is going to give us a rudimentary circle it's good enough for what we want it to do anyway so there we go that's a nice little circle so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to that center circle that we've built and we're going to place this wall and then once the wall's down we're going to use this we're going to put it on that side and then we're going to go back to our triangles and we're going to do the same again we're going to do a circle Right, so there we go, there's our circle on top and our circle on bottom, they're both matching. You can delete that wall if you want to, it's not necessary at this point, but if you want to, there you go. And they're going to match perfectly like that. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to do a little glitch so that we can make a giant biodome bigger than the ones that we, uh, we're normally allowed to place. So as you can see off in the distance there, I've taken a locker uh, I would use a locker, it's very important that bit, uh, and I've enlarged it as big as it'll go and then all I'm doing is I'm hitting triangle and square on PlayStation or whatever the relevant buttons there, they should be in the corner for you and that's going to give you onto this menu which is going to allow me to use R1 to duplicate that locker at that size but I've got the actual biodome in my cache so this bit's massively important, we line it up with where we want the entrance and we need to turn it on its side like that so that the angle of that locker is facing straight forward towards where we want the entrance to be. And we line the white dot up, now it didn't work the first time I did it, it's not going to work every time you do it, but essentially what you want to do is you want to hit triangle and R2 at the same time or whatever the relevant buttons on your console are and that's going to glitch it in from your cache. So we'll have another go at it. So we go over, we grab our biodome, we hit triangle and square, or your relevant buttons, get us into the duplicate menu, duplicate from the locker, use the corner of the locker to line up with where you want the entrance to be, line the white dot up in the middle, make sure that it's all as tight as you can get it, and then hit triangle and R2, or whatever your relevant buttons are, and that'll glitch in a giant biodome like that and get your camera stuck but don't worry just exit out your build menu and there you go there's a giant biodome and that's how you do that glitch so what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to grab the moon pool now and what you can do with the moon pool is you can place the moon pool in the middle like that and this is why we had to line it up the way we did because now those columns on the moon pool will actually line up as we want them to and there won't be one sticking out in the middle so once we've done that, we can go along and we can grab some stairs we can come underneath like this and we can delete that inner circle of triangles, get rid of it completely, we don't need any of that now. Leave the outer circle of squares that you've got because you'll need that later on. But yeah, we can get rid of all of these and that opens up the entire biodome to us like that. We can use that uh, square in front of us there though, to attach these stairs to it and then once we've attached these stairs we're going to be able to use this as our entrance we're going to be able to build up around this so there you go that's that bit done so as we come along here all we're going to do is we're going to grab some walls and we're going to go around the entire outside of this 
and we're going to close it off with walls and then we're going to do underneath as well to close it off and make it look like it's coming out of the ground so here we go Right, so there we go, that's that bit done, it looks like the structure's coming out of the ground now. Uh, what I wanted to do on here was have a little bit of an entrance way, so I thought I'd pop in some of those automatic doors, I might power them later on. Um, I ended up putting them the other way around though, because I don't think I liked it the way they opened inwards, it would look better the way they opened outwards. But yeah, I might put some power to that later, and uh, actually have that running. There we go, so pop the power doors in like that, once they're in, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to go inside in and out like that we've got the stairs to take us up to the next level what I'll quickly do is we'll just uh, we'll just put these in on this walkway to make sure that when we're running up and down it we don't fall off it'll take two seconds to do this you can also if you want to you can uh, pop in some archways underneath just to marry the um, marry it all into the ground so that it looks like it's jutting out of the ground I'll probably do that later on as well so here we go, as you can see all the way around it, those interesting circles that are coming off the bottom that look like they should have feet coming off them, I think I might try and add some columns up those later on just to see whether or not you can sort of use the large cylinders to sort of match up to those so it looks like it's actually got uh, juts coming down, but we'll do that in a later video. For now all we wanted to do was do the structure and have a look at it like this. So now we're inside. What we're going to be able to do is, we're going to be able to take our alloy walls, the short ones, and we're just going to be able to sort of fence that off around there so that you can come up the steps but you're not going to fall off the edge as you're walking around. And you can see why I've kept those square circle pieces that we put in and we only deleted the inner circle because it just finishes off the inside look like that and gives you more space to work with. So there you go, that's it really. Uh, first video, I didn't want to go too much further than this. I think what we'll do is the next couple of videos, we'll decorate the inside, we'll look at putting a walkway all the way around it so that you can get a bit closer to that glass, sort of like a, a gantry all the way around. And uh, we'll start adding some plants in, we'll start doing some decor and things like that. We might have a look at powering that door and doing other bits and bobs. But yeah, there'll be two or three videos in this series, so... Uh, I hopefully you have fun building this part and you'll join us for the second part but for now thank you very much everybody for watching uh, keep an eye out for new videos as they come in we're back on it in the new year it's been good to see you all I hope you've all had a good Christmas I hope you've all had a good new year you didn't drink too much or maybe you did but hopefully it was a good time <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll crack on with this and we'll set it up for the next video so that we can show you guys where to take it from there but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, take care, he sends. We'll see you all soon. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching the video everybody, we really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider giving the channel a like and a subscribe. Hit the bell notification as well to keep up to date with everything that we're doing. We really appreciate those likes and subscribe guys, they keep us going. Thank you so much. We just want to take a second to say thank you to our Creative Club members and also our Creative Club graduates that you can see on the screen now. You guys are rock and rollers, thank you so much. If you want to join the membership, 
Uh, hit the button below, come over and join the members club with us. Uh, every single member will get a free Adventures of Murray comic and all sorts of other little bits and bobs that we throw in there as well, so it's really worth it, guys. But uh, if you want to support the channel, like it, subscribe it, don't skip the ads, you're really helping us out. We appreciate every single last one of you, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. So for now, take care, guys. We'll see you soon.